Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own dry pigments for a very good price. Of course, you can buy a lot of materials from manufacturers, but they are mostly quite expensive, especially if you are making large models like 1 to 35 scale AFX. 20 ml of pigment usually cost $5. In every way you can simply make your own pigments, like these ones. I made them for a few minutes and I used dry pastels and oil pastels, or English also called hard and soft pastels. It is very significant difference between them. Soft pastels have much more color pigment and less binder. They are perfect for shading and for painting. However, I don't recommend them for matte effect. It could be challenging to wipe excess pigment from the surface properly. On the other hand, hard pastels have less color pigment and more binder. So they are more like original dry pigments, made precisely for models. So first, hard pastels. I use this set made by Kohinoor. The set cost me $5 and include 12 pastels. You can buy set only with a brown shades or buy each color separately. And in this case, one pastel costs 50 cents. And now, I show you how simple it is to create pigment for our models. You don't need any expensive electric mixer or coffee grinder. I use soft metal mesh for 10 cents. If you don't have a metal mesh, you can use a metal tea strainer. So how much pigment I will get from one pastel? Let's try it. I use the red-brown shade. It takes me one minute to transform pastel to dry pigment. So this process is not time consuming. I put the dust to plastic cup. Ok, so from one pastel I get 15 ml of pigment. It is not bad at all. So I need some cheap bottles for pigment. And I found out that small acrylic Tamiya or Ganze colors have precise 15 ml volume. And also I like the little glass bottles. How I effortless clean bottles from the old dry color you will see in the next Onis Guide video. What happens if you do not find precise pigment shade? You can simply mix your own shade from a few pigments. If you will use a soft mesh like me, it is not a problem, because pigment can be simply mixed. I need Italian dust shade. Therefore, I use for this purpose simple ratio 1 to 1. I use color shades yellow and red brown. And I add one part of a white pigment, because I need lighter result. Now I mix everything together. The result is very nice. Ok, now some practical example. I use my old Sherman in 1 to 72 scale. You can fix pigment with enamel thinner or some pigment fixer. You can also create very nice matte effect, because pigment from hard pastels has very dense consistency. This is the result after drying. Now I can wipe excess pigment with an enamel thinner. Ok, now soft pastels. As I said, they have a lot of pigment, so they adhere to surface very well. They are perfect if you need to create shading or you can paint heavy weathering like in this example.
If you overrun scratches, you can simply wipe them off with a water or animal thinner. Okay, that is all my friends. A conclusion in the end. I will surely make more video tutorials about techniques like that. I think it's excellent for beginners because I read a lot of comments from frustrated people that they must buy a lot of products and everything is expensive. I do not say that original products are bad, they are easy to use and they have a good quality. However, you can very often create your own product for a minimal price and with a very similar result. And a special thanks to all sponsors in Patreon, because they help me to finance this kind of videos. One video tutorial requires a lot of hours of testing and buying different materials. So that is all. Thanks for watching and see you next time.